guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video, which is another haul as part of Fashion Mumbler Haul Week. I really hope you guys are enjoying all of my hauls this week. Not gonna lie, this one is probably my favorite. It is the premium and higher end slash investment pieces haul. So obviously, kind of not really a haul because I didn't go out and buy all of these pieces at once. Sadly, I do not have the funds to do that. Instead, I've kind of been picking these pieces up over the past few weeks. And when I say premium high street, I mean those stores that are not quite high street, not quite designer, and it's brands such as Reese, Karen Millen, uh, Ted Baker, Club Monaco, those kind of brands. And they are the retailers that I go to for my investment pieces and my almost my essentials and my basics for each season. I actually did this exact video last year, autumn investment pieces. I'll leave it linked up here if you want to see what's changed. A lot of the retailers are very similar and the pieces that I picked up last year, I have no regrets for any of those. I wore them all so, so much. So fingers crossed the same will apply this year. Because I do get so much wear out of them, I'm more than happy to invest a little bit more in these pieces to ensure that I get that quality and I know that I'll wear them absolutely loads. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started with the piece that I'm wearing now. So this, I actually only bought yesterday, so that's kind of why I'm wearing it now. I don't know about you, but when I buy something, I just wanna wear it straight away. This is a beautiful cashmere and wool cape wrap from um, Club Monaco, and <laughs> I seem to have it on wonky. <laughs> there we go, so yeah, it's a beautiful gray, Cashmere wool blend wrap from Club Monaco. I picked this up yesterday from the Sloan Street or uh, Sloan Square store, which I love its interior goals in there. And this is just a beautiful, very luxurious looking and feeling, very casual piece. It's the kind of piece that I'll wear probably out to a few meetings on more casual days, dressed down Friday, and just know that when I wear it, I feel and look really relaxed, but also polished at the same time, if that makes sense, because it does have such a beautiful drape to it. You can tell it is a more premium piece, just the way that it's cut, and of course, the quality of the material. I absolutely adore this gray color. It's a little bit speckled, a little bit marl-like, and then on the inside, as you can see, it's white. So you could actually flip this round and wear it as a white cape if you so preferred. It's got this little bow detail on the sleeves but that is the only design detail apart from that it really is just a square of wool I could probably buy a square of cashmere and make this myself in fact that's not a bad idea I might try and get some like squares of different colored cashmere maybe camel colored um, and DIY this let me know if you'd like to see a video on that that's a sudden light bulb moment but yeah, I'm really pleased with this piece from Club Monaco. It was not cheap, but I'm determined to get a lot of price per wear out of this. Next up is a real investment piece, but I couldn't resist this beautiful bag to be my autumn handbag. It is the YSL Sunset bag in this crocodile effect leather and in a gray color, which is very different for me. I do not own any gray handbags. Most of my bags are pink or brown, but I thought this was just absolutely beautiful and a really nice transition color from spring, summer to autumn, winter. So the kind of bag I can wear all year round. I got this from Netta Porter and I just have worn it non-stop ever since. I probably wouldn't wear it with this, maybe slight grey overload, I'm not too sure. But I love the length of the strap, it's got this chain strap with a little leather section here so I can pop it over my shoulder. Pocket in the back which comes in very handy for oyster cards. Um, and I haven't like prepared this for this video or anything but there are three sections inside a little pocket which I've got a taxi receipt in, kind of a main pocket. Oh. There's my ID, I thought I'd lost that. <laughs> Couple of lipsticks, invisible bubble, um, lip liner, and then a little, a little envelope pocket down at the back there, and then you've got this magnetic clasp in the middle. So absolutely adore this, beautiful investment piece. It was around 1500 pounds, and um, I've already worn it so much that the price per wear is already coming down again, but this is my handbag splurge for the autumn season. While we're talking about Netta Porter, I have to also mention my beautiful new Gucci mules. I have been thinking about these pretty much since last year. I never knew which color I was going to go for, and then I thought, you know what, I just want to go for something really stand out, really bold, because there are so many dupes around, and as much as I'm a huge fan of dupes, you guys know I made a whole video about dupes, I wanted something to be really, really special, so I decided to go for these animal printed ones, and the amount of compliments that I have received on these is unreal. I wear them so, so, so much. I did find them a little bit slippy to begin with, the soles are quite slippy, so I still may go to um, a cobbler and get them grippified. 
and get some grip put on them but I haven't found it to be too much of a problem. I got size 36 which is my usual size and they fit me perfectly and they are this kind of pony skin effect which I just think is absolutely beautiful and no doubt you'll be seeing me wearing these throughout the rest of the season. So these next three pieces from Nesta Porter I only ordered very recently and I'm not sure which if any I'm going to keep so this is where I could definitely do with some words of wisdom from you guys. First of all is the Chloe Susanna boots in this brownie taupey almost grey shade and they are suede material which doesn't bother me too much if it's going to rain I always check the forecast I just wouldn't wear them out plus I have so much trust in suede protector spray I've had so many boots that I've worn in the rain and have gone back to their brand new self just because of suede protector spray so I'm not too worried about that they have got the beautiful gold studs over them and then this buckle detail I just need to make sure that I know I'm gonna get so much use out of these I think I would probably get more use out of these than the black ones because they just fit with the colour of my wardrobe more. I've been wearing them around the house and they are very comfortable but still have not totally made my mind up just yet. So let me know your opinion. The other option, which is still in its box, is uh, the Chloe Susanna boots in black. So let's open this up. Again, I... Oh, oh. So these also were from Anetta Porter. I have to say, it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see, but it's buckled in a little bit, almost as though the leather, it doesn't have quite enough padding in it. I'd have thought there'd be some padding in there. They also look quite big. These are a 36, the same size as the brown ones. They just look a bit bigger. So I'm going to try this pair and the previous pair with a few different outfits before I make up my mind. These are leather, so potentially a bit more hard wearing. But if any of you guys have got the Chloe Susanna boots, then please let me know your opinions on them because obviously they are expensive. They're nearly a thousand pound a pair. So I want to make sure that I really invest wisely and get a pair of boots that I know I'm going to wear so, so, so much. All right, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I ordered three pairs of Chloe boots in my um, Net-a-Porter haul. These are actually C by Chloe, so they are a lower price point and they're a bit of a wild card. So again, I'd be very interested to hear your opinion. Love this little dust bag. All right, so here's the boot. As you can see, very different to the Susanna style and not really that obvious that they're Chloe at all. I think these are around 275 pounds, so a much lower price point than the Susanna boots. They are very practical. They've got a mega sole, like real proper workman's grip here, and then a very squishy, you know, that kind of rubber material um, and grippy heel as well. So you've got the grip, great if it's icy, but you still get the height and the glamour of a Chloe boot lace up at the front and then you've got this darker leather um, around the back of the shoe. I think they're absolutely gorgeous and imagine just like rocking up to a polo game or a rugby match wearing these, you would absolutely look amazing. I'm trying to think what trousers I'd wear them with, probably white skinny jeans would look awesome or it could be a really nice way of adding a little bit of interest to a maxi dress, a really cool like boho style that's very Kate Moss wearing them with something like this. But yeah, I just was really attracted to these on the website. Definitely going to try them with a few outfit options. So let me know your opinion on my wild card purchase. All right, so I'm going to go back to the high street now. Those are my designer purchases. I'm next gonna show you the bits and bobs that I have picked up recently from Reese, which is one of my favorite retailers. These pieces are very much transition, so I have been wearing them in these last few weeks of summer, but I know that I'll get a lot of use out of them in autumn as well. Seeing as we're on a roll with shoes, I'll start off with these. So I picked up these pointed toe uh, gray suede flats. I just think they're so beautiful. I adore a pointed toe. I think it's very elegant. And this color I think is very, very versatile. I've already worn these loads find them very comfortable. This big band means they really don't budge when they're on your feet, which is great. And I find that a pointed toe really elongates the legs. So I absolutely love those. They look great with jeans, with skirts, with dresses, so many outfit options. So I know that I'll get tons of use out of these in the coming weeks and months. And then this is probably one of my first real basic clothing items that, you know, you just have them in your wardrobe and they're the kind of pieces that you reach for over and over again, no matter what time of year. It's a very classic design, plain t-shirt, but the material is this really lovely stripe, which just adds a lovely design element to it. And the way that it hangs when it's on, it's really beautifully structured because of this slightly thicker material. So it does have a really lovely polished look to it. 
So far I've worn this with high-waisted mom jeans and I've also worn this tucked into a high-waisted midi skirt. Both looked absolutely beautiful and yes it was a little bit more expensive than your average t-shirt but price per wear I think this is going to do really really well and it's just a classic piece, a classic wardrobe piece. Everyone needs a slightly more luxurious white t-shirt in their wardrobe and for me this is exactly that. Next up and you guys may have spotted this already on my Instagram, every time I feature it it gets so many questions. It is this pink metallic knit top um, with a crossover from Reese. I just think this colour is so beautiful, it has got metallic stitching going through it which gives it a little bit of a festive vibe but this pastel colour makes it very wearable for this time of year as well. The neckline I think makes this look so elegant, I love teaming it with my Astrid and Mew Lariat necklace which uh, has a moon and then drops into the cleavage area just looks so beautiful with this jumper it's also great for those days when you're not too sure what the weather's going to be like because it keeps you warm but not too hot so a really lovely transitional piece that already I have worn loads and then an even more simple t-shirt from Reese this is just a plain white t-shirt with a little bit of reinforcement around the collar just to give it a little bit of a design detail I have quite a few Reese t-shirts in my collection and they wear so well there's nothing worse than investing in a t-shirt and then finding it goes bobbly or it loses its shape I've never found that with the Reese ones, I've always been so impressed with the quality so I thought I'd add another essential item into my autumn wardrobe. This one I tried on in the store and absolutely fell in love with it, it's this beautiful silky material. I call this like a vicar collar because it's quite a high neck, definitely reminds me of like a priest or something. And then this beautiful, mine's actually undone. There we go, this beautiful keyhole detail in the back which is just a lovely detail. The material is a beautiful silky soft blush pink and it hangs in the most lovely way. You can definitely tell it is more of an investment piece. This is a lovely way to dress up white jeans or you could wear it again tucked into a midi skirt. So many ways to wear this and also it would look great cinched in with a waist belt as well. A cinched in waist is one of the trends we're going to be seeing a lot in the upcoming season and I did a video on Sunday all about autumn winter trends which ones to look out for so click up here if you want to catch that video. I've mentioned a midi skirt a few times now and the one that I picked up is this beautiful pleated midi skirt again from Reese in this gorgeous blush. I'd say it's almost like a mauve colour it's definitely moving slightly away from blush pink more into like a blush purple but again the way that this hangs is just absolutely beautiful when you spin when you twirl when you move it just has the most beautiful flow to the fabric which I think is the main point of difference between this and more affordable versions. I've worn this with a slouchy knit with my white jumper I'm about to show you and it's probably one of my favourite current outfits. It's a go-to outfit, you're warm and yet you feel stylish, you look great and it's just a very timeless look but also very on trend. And this is the knit that I've been mentioning, I have already worn this absolutely loads, I find it so versatile, it's the kind of piece that you wear so much this time of year, going into autumn winter you could definitely put like a thermal on underneath this, it's got the sun going through it at the moment making it look quite sheer but when it is against the body you can't see any undergarments so don't need to worry about its sheerness. I also really like the sleeves on this because they go down and have quite a long cuff which means you can really show off your bracelets, your jewellery, which I really like. I think it just adds a really lovely touch to it. The neckline is quite long and narrow which again is really feminine, really delicate. Looks great with a really simple necklace um, like the one that I'm wearing now would look really nice with something like this. Yeah, I can tell the price per wear for this is going to go right down as I get more and more use out of it in autumn. The next retailer in this haul is Ted Baker and these pieces I haven't actually worn quite so much yet because they are very autumnal, in fact most of these I haven't worn at all yet. When I went into the store, I went to the Regent Street store, I really had it in my head that I didn't want to buy any more white pieces, any more spring summer bits but really invest in autumn. It was a very grey and rainy day so I had autumn vibes going on that day. First thing that I picked up was this burgundy dress, I adore Ted Baker dresses, I really love wearing them for special occasions and this one I thought would be beautiful beautiful for any autumnal or wintry dinner parties that I may have coming up. It's doing crazy things with the camera lighting so I'll swiftly go through this one. But it's a very elasticated material which means the fit is beautiful, accentuated on the waist, slightly more cap sleeves and then you've got this beautiful flare detail on the skirt, it hangs absolutely gorgeously. There's a laser effect cut out on the bottom here so the light goes through which is a really beautiful design detail and then 
as you'd expect with Ted Baker, you've got this beautiful rose gold zip, which I think is just so beautiful, as beautiful as a zip can be. I'm really looking forward to wearing this for upcoming dinner parties, upcoming evening events, but this colour is a little bit too autumnal to start wearing yet, so it's one that's going to stay in my wardrobe, and I'm very, very excited to wear this one. Next, and probably one of the favourite pieces that I picked up from Ted Baker, is this gorgeous puffer jacket. I chose this pearly grey shade, because I thought it would be the most versatile with all my autumn winter outfits. It's almost a pastel colour, almost the same colour as my bag, but I just think it's absolutely stunning. So, so warm, so it has got this beautiful padding in it, and then you've got this beautiful faux fur neckline, which just gives it such a luxe look, and really, really cosy and warm as well. So, again, cannot wait to start wearing this. Also, with the accentuated waist trend, it does have an elasticated waist belt. It doesn't actually fasten as tight as I'd want it to, so I think I'm actually going to make the belt a little bit smaller, just make a little tuck in the back, so that it really does pull in at the waist. But you'll be seeing me wearing this absolutely loads, and I'm excited to start wearing it. Another dark coloured dress, and this is a very practical one for me, it is a navy shift dress. Really great if you want to find something a little bit smarter for the office perhaps, but it does have this lovely design detail of a bow, or a knot, if I can just do it up. Again, accentuating the waist, that autumn winter trend that we're going to be seeing a lot of, um, and then it just gives you the most beautiful silhouette. It's quite a thick warm material with a lining, so great for chillier days. You could wear this with tights and boots, or you could just wear it with stilettos if you wanted to dress it up a little bit, but a very practical piece that I know I'll get tons of use from. And then a couple more casual pieces from Ted Baker. I love Ted Baker knitwear, find it such great quality. The coat hanger is not doing this one any favours, but it is a cream coloured knit with beautiful pie crust frill detail on the sleeves and on the neckline. It's almost like a beautiful polo neck. Also on the frill you've got this metallic stitching which is just a very pretty design detail which I love. And this in the colder months will be a great layering piece, especially under a gilet, even under another jumper. This collar will just stand out and completely revamp your knitwear for the autumn season. And then this is even more casual again, it is a plain grey cardigan but the surprise is on the back with this beautiful floral silk detail. So it's just so nice to have a cosy piece that is just a little bit different and more special so I thought I would wear that one a lot. Last but absolutely not least from Ted Baker is my new winter coat purchase. I couldn't resist this. I actually had something very similar to this from Ted Baker on my wish list last year, but I missed out, so I thought I would get in there early this year. It is this wool and cashmere blend coat in this gorgeous grey material with the pink lining, which I just think is so stunning. Pulls in at the waist and oh, I just can't even explain how beautiful this looks when you try it on. It's such a classic and stylish design, rose gold design details. I just adore it and it's going to be so warm and very excited for this to be my go-to winter coat. One thing I wanted to mention before I move on to the last retailer that I've hauled from is this bag. So this was actually a very kind blog mail gift, it was sent to me by a brand called Teddy Maximus. Definitely has Hermes bag vibes about it but I just think it's the most beautiful colour and very practical size as well. You can hook it over your arm, fill it with all your bits and bobs and I think it looks so stunning. Price wise these are more affordable than designer bags but just a little bit more expensive than maybe premium high street bag somewhere in the middle. The quality of this is absolutely gorgeous and such practical size that you'll be seeing this in a lot of my upcoming outfits of the day so I thought I'd give that a quick shout out so thank you very much Teddy Maximus for your extreme generosity. I just looked in the mirror and I saw that my cape had managed to spin like 90 degrees round so if that was really bothering you I'm very sorry I have adjusted it now. So the final retailer for this haul is Karen Millen and you guys are going to be so proud of me for this because it's not pink it's black. It's a black leather jacket, which I never thought that I would hear myself saying or admitting to have because I'm just not really a black leather jacket kind of person. But I was out having some drinks with one of my friends, Vicky, recently, and we thought it would be hilarious to swap jackets. I was actually wearing um, this one, and she was wearing a really cool, I think hers was All Saints black leather jacket. We are like, oh my god, let's just swap jackets because we don't normally wear these colours. Tried on her jacket and I fell in love and I thought I have to get myself a black leather jacket so here it is I'm so excited to wear this I think it's so cool for me I went for a really simple kind of an essential piece from Karen Millen it's not got any crazy design details it's just exactly what you want in a classic black leather jacket it's a really lovely feminine shape it's got a little bit of a kick out at the bottom the zip goes up one side you've got zippy pockets yellow gold hardware a nice little chain for hanging it up and most importantly the leather is so soft and buttery and it fits absolutely beautifully so I'm really excited to style this up if you guys have any tips 
tips on how to style black leather jackets and please let me know because I am a newbie. This one again is brand new, I've not had a chance to wear this yet, but it's another essential piece that I know that I'll get so much wear out of, it'd be really great for a work wardrobe as well. It is this white knitted tank top, so you've got this beautiful cut out detail here which just adds a really nice touch of interest, but because it is this knitted material it fits the body absolutely beautifully. And the piece that I bought to style it with is a black leather skirt, I know this is totally revolutionary for me but I'm trying to be cool, I'm trying to be sophisticated and I thought this was absolutely beautiful. Similarly to the bag it does have this kind of crocodile effect to it which I think is absolutely gorgeous and it does come down to a midi length, so really beautiful length as well. I think if you have an office job this would just be the most stylish work combination and personally I think I'll wear this to any meetings that I have, any slightly more smart meetings, things like that. I'm very excited to just style up my wardrobe in a slightly more chic way. So those are the pieces that I have treated myself to recently. I've really enjoyed showing you guys all these bits and bobs and I'm so excited to wear them and continue wearing them. So many lovely pieces. I'm very, very happy with the base that I have now for my autumn wardrobe. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, then you know the drill. Please give it a thumbs up. And for more fashion videos from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click to turn your notifications on as well so that you don't miss any. So that's all from me. If you guys made it to the end of this video, then I would love to see you leaving a handbag emoji in the comment section down below or somehow mention the word handbag maybe let me know your favorite designer handbag that you've spotted at the moment so that's my challenge for today thank you guys so much again and i'll see you in my next one